this segment, I'd like to talk a bit about how we can write contracts using the embedding of Marlowe in JavaScript. So what we have to do is produce a JavaScript file where the last expression is of our contract type. So you can see an example here. It's a contract which is a when. It's waiting for a deposit from Alice into her own account of price worth of ADA. And then it carries on as a contract called inner. And what you see here, Alice and Alice and Ada and Price, um, are in fact all definitions in, in JavaScript. Um, it's got a timeout also of, of slot time 10. And if we, the deposit isn't made, the whole contract closes. So that's the thing that comes at the end of the JavaScript file. And what comes before that can be all the definitions that we, um, we make that are used in here. So for example, um, we can see that above it is this definition of inner, which is the inner contract. Once Alice has made the deposit, what does the contract do? Well, it waits for a choice from Alice and then waits for a choice from Bob. And if they've chosen the same thing, if the thing Alice has chosen and the thing Bob has chosen are the same, then we use the agreement contract. Otherwise, we use the arbitrate contract. Um, and if Alice makes a choice and Bob doesn't, then by time 60, we have to arbitrate. And if Alice hasn't made a choice at all, by time 40, we just close down. So you can see we're using these definitions to make the, the contracts be um, easier to understand. And the sorts of definitions you might see higher up in the file are things like naming a choice name, which is just an abbreviation for a string, or a choice um, ID by here. And what we've got is a function. So we don't just define constants, um, which are values, but we can sometimes define functions as well. And in fact, we can do we can do anything we want in the JavaScript file as long as the, the final expression is something which is a contract, and that's the contract the whole file is defining. Um, just to, to show you, the, the built-ins that we have in our JavaScript are these values here. So you can see, for example, close and pay and if, but these also um, reflect the, the various sorts of observations and values and actions and so on that are in, um, that are available in Marlowe. So those are the, those are the built-ins. Um, and if you use the Marlowe in JavaScript editor, if you, when you, in the playground, when you mouse over these, um, you will see a definition of their type. So you can tell how you use all these things, just as you can if you're using the visual representation. OK, well, I hope that is a useful introduction to how we can use JavaScript to author Marlowe contracts.